shoulder to shoulder with one player at the centre of their thoughts. The death of 23-year-old Cody Fisher has shaken his club to the core. Attending the team's first game since his death, his mother, father and uncle have spoken for the first time. My life sentence started on Boxing Day, you know, when I got that call and I got there and it was too late to get there and not even make it in time because he'd already died by the time I'd got there. There's, there's just no words. Broken. Bro I can't even watch the game. That's how... That's how... <laughs> I can't even watch the match no more. We're so proud of him. My wife and my kids, we, we idolised Cody and we loved him to bits. And I think everyone felt the same about him. And um, he's just such a lovely, lovely character and a lovely kid. And he'd be looking down now and he'd be so happy and he'd be oh. proud. Ahead of kickoff, a guard of honour for the players by children from St Gregory's School, Cody had trained many of them. And at 23 minutes past Cody's age when he died, the match paused. A moment for players, fans and the family to celebrate his life. Cody was stabbed inside the Crane nightclub in Birmingham on Boxing Day night while out with friends. Two men aged 21 and 22 have been charged with his murder with a trial due to begin in July. But for today, it was a moment for a club and a family to come together. I'm just so proud, so, so proud that he was just an inspiration to so many people. And, you know, my best friend that I've lost so soon and he was just just amazing he was just an amazing amazing child baby child lad as he grew you know just just beyond words and beyond cruel i just i waved him off on boxing day the purest soul just just my absolute angel to have inspired so many people at such a young age and the love for him is, is for me as as his mother is just the most special it's just going to be my comfort i don't know how i get i go from here how i get on from here like i say my life sentence has started now and you know it will never be easy never ever 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 Dan Whitehead, Sky News in Stratford-upon-Avon.